So welcome back to Boa Whip. And uh, this book here is called The Billionaire Cinderella Contract by author Michelle Smart. I had wrote to Michelle requesting permission to read this book online and she gave me permission. And a little bit about Michelle Smart. Love affair with books started when she was a baby, when she could cuddle them in her cot. A voracious reader of all genres, she found her love of romance established when she stumbled across her first Harlequin book at the age of 12. She's been reading and writing them ever since. Michelle lives in Northamptonshire, England, with her husband and two young Smarties. These are the other books she has. So this book practically jumped out at me when I was at the library. I mean, I had such a huge selection, but I kept coming back to this one. Chapter 1. Mia Caldwell gazed at the nondescript London building before her, then double-checked the address she'd been given. She never heard of Club Grand, but this ordinary black, slightly shabby front door did not look like the entrance of any club she'd been to before. The address matched, and the app on her phone indicated she was at the right place. She put her finger to the doorbell, tightened her hold on her handbag, and waited, trying hard not to bounce on her toes. At the end of last night's performance she'd been in, her tiny shared dressing room barely minutes, when her normally useless agent had called. She hadn't spoken to Phil in over a month, so the call had been as unexpected as his news that she'd been invited to an audition for the director of a new theater company intending to tour a show in the south of the country. The only catch was that the audition was being held first thing next morning in a private club rather than in the theater. Oh, and Phil had forgotten to get the name of the theater company and the name of the show, or to ask how much the pay would be. She really needed to think about getting a new agent. As she was on the last leg of her current tour and had nothing else lined up, there was no way she was turning the audition down. Whatever the pay was, it couldn't be less than she was currently earning. If she was lucky and they intended to play bigger theaters, she might earn a little more. Hopefully enough to save a little cash. The boiler of her flat kept making ominous noises whenever she turned on the turned the hot water on. There was damp coming from the walls. Plus, there was no way her car would pass its next MOT. Right now, she couldn't. Right now, she didn't have the money to pay for any of these things. The door opened a huge mountain with shoulder. Length, greasy hair, dressed in a too short, too tight black suit, stood in the threshold and stared at her with no expression whatsoever. Is this Club Gould? Mia asked when the man, Mountain, made no effort to speak. And you are? Mia Caldwell. ID. That was something else, apart from the venue, that she found curious about this audition. The request for her to bring identification. The mountain man examined her driver's license closely, gave a grunt, 